call Puerto Rico a floating island of garbage. The only garbage I see floating out there is his supporters. MSNBC, CNN, CBS, far left media. Where are you guys at on this, huh? Where y'all at, huh? How are you guys doing? Welcome to the channel. I'm Ty Smith. You're watching my channel, Modern Renaissance Man. I appreciate you guys taking your time out of your day to view my content. Make sure that you are following me on all the platforms you see above and the ones below and hitting this like button right here is how my content could consistently be recommended to you. Last but not least, double check and make sure that you are still subscribed to the channel and hitting that notification bell will allow you to get notifications from me when I do post a video. I appreciate that. Yeah, buddy, we got to talk about this. I know that just blew you guys' ear off when I just did that, didn't it? Ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be one of those moments where you really need to do a legit, real self-evaluation of your mind and how dismissive, purposely deceived, and just plumb out purposeful ignorance that you want to be to a situation like this. We all know that when Mr. Hitchcliffe was at the Republican Madison Square Garden event, that to me, in my opinion, was bigger than the RNC event. This thing was huge. Guy gets up there. He makes a joke. When he made the joke, it kind of fell on deaf ears collectively. He said, and what about that island of floating garbage out there? He said it was Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. Oh, the media, y'all came at this dude. Y'all just, oh, racist. Oh, why would he say such a thing? Oh, 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 oh. They're trying to make a, a firestorm out of something that, again, if you, you look at it, you look at what he said immediately afterward, which Donald Trump didn't say. He immediately afterwards uh, said, no, that's not what I meant. I was talking about the comedian and, and people that supported that kind of talk. But, you know, it, Willie, he, Joe Biden obviously doesn't believe that. As someone who had a stutter growing up, it's very obvious to me that there's an apostrophe at the end of supporters there. He was referring to the garbage spewed by supporters, not simply the supporters themselves. It's basically calling Puerto Ricans trash. The most repulsive racial jokes about Latinos. Disgusting and, and hateful. So incredibly crude. Frankly, just too X-rated to play here. Extremely vile, so-called jokes. Uh, much has been made about Biden's comments. The White House is in total damage control. It's whether there was an apostrophe S, his supporters garbage, that it was, you know, or supporters plural as garbage. What is your take and what will be the impact? Just what the Harris campaign wanted to be talking about is yeah. apostrophes. Um, it's quite a gift from the old boss at the end of the campaign. But is it really, from a political matter, is it going to, from a political standpoint, is it going to matter? Is there a voter who's going to take umbrage at these remarks, get so offended, mm. and then rush to the polls, who wasn't already going to the polls in the first place? Now, in terms of the distraction, the point I made at the beginning, um, you know, Harris would like everybody focused on her closing arguments to the extent that this kind of takes over the news cycle for the morning. That's not what they wanted. Uh, more proof of why Joe Biden was a candidate they were worried about having to be at the top of the ticket. Uh, so it's um, it's not what you want. But I don't know in the end if this really also, by the way, if you want to get in an insult comparing contest with the top of the Republican ticket, um, that's not a conversation that uh, Donald Trump will come out of well. So um, I think this is um, one of those things that gets covered in a campaign, but I'm not sure of the practical effect it's going to have on voting. Can you just address the president's comments yesterday um, referring to uh, Trump's supporter as garbage. And I know he's tried to clarify that he was yeah. trying to talk about what the person said. Um, but one, I guess I'm, I want to know, does he think less of Americans who support Trump than he does of those who do not? Yeah. And two, why is he using that kind of rhetoric? How is that presidential? So, so a couple of things, a couple of things. So just to clarify, he was not calling Trump supporters garbage, which is why he put out, this is why he wanted to make sure that we put out uh, a statement that clarified what he meant and what he was trying to say. And so just want to make that very clear for folks who are watching. And, I'll, and I just want to uh, uh, read that out to folks. So he was regarding to the comedian, and I quote, I refer to the hateful rhetoric about Puerto Rico spewed by Trump's supporter at his Madison Square Garden rally as garbage, which is the only word I can think of to describe it. His demonization of Latinos is unconscionable. 
That's all I meant to say. The comments, the comments at the rally don't reflect who we are as a nation. And to your question, your other question that you asked, um, no, he does not view Trump supporters or anybody who, tr who supports Trump as garbage. That is not what he views. If the president has said this for more than three years now, he has said multiple times that he is a president for all. It doesn't matter if you live in a red state. It doesn't matter if you live in a blue state. He has said this himself. I have said it on his behalf. President Joe Biden just called black people garbage. He called white people garbage. He called Puerto Rican people garbage. He called Asians garbage, be it Chinese, Korean, Japan, Indian. He called y'all garbage. Black folks is in Africans that may be here. Maybe, you know, you're here and you're legal, you're a citizen. He just called you garbage. Anybody that is Republican and voting for Trump and support Trump, President Biden just called you all garbage. He called us all garbage. So 70 some plus million Americans got called garbage. And what do y'all have to say about it? Well, well, see, that's amazing to me. You guys pick and choose what you want to be offensive. But then when your side does it, what do y'all do? Well, I mean, because the only reason why they said there, no, there is no only reason why I'm saying it. Here's the deal. Hinchcliffe said it as a joke. President Biden meant it. It was no joke that he was saying. He intentionally said that to throw shots. So President Biden, you call me garbage, right? Does that mean anybody going to take up for me, CNN, MSNBC, CBS? Are you guys going to come out? Because isn't that racist too? But oh, I forgot President Biden can get away with saying things like, if you don't know you're from me or Trump, then you ain't black. Y'all don't have nothing to say about that. So now that he called black people garbage, he called white people garbage, he called all those other races I said garbage. Let's see if there's going to be a whole lot of things going on on The View. Huh? Whoopi Goldberg? Joy? Huh? Sonny? Y'all don't have nothing to say about this? It's intellectually this dishonest for his supporters to suddenly be offended by President Biden slip up because I do believe it was a slip up. But y'all had a lot to say about when the guy made the joke, didn't y'all? It wasn't funny. You know, when this guy is up here, he'll be over here with you. Sonny, you know, preferably whenever I, uh, uh, with her big old eyelashes blink, I, I, and when I think straight up hypocrites, straight up cowards, you guys can't call out your own side for the bull crap they're doing. And don't say we won't do it because I would do it in a heartbeat. You won't call out your own side for doing it because it's okay when y'all do it, but it's bad when the other side do it. Just a bunch of fake, like I said, fake virtue signaling hypocrites is what y'all are. That's all y'all are. Anyway, folks, let me know what you guys all think about this by putting it in the comments below after this video. Don't forget to do what you guys are seeing in that cloud right there. And also get into your cell phone if you will, please. If there's somebody that you know would benefit from this camera. <laughs> a lot. Benefit from your, if there's anybody that you know would benefit from watching this channel. Go into your cell phone, into your contact list, and encourage them to subscribe to the channel. I really would appreciate it if you did that. I don't know. I just had another Joe Biden encephalitis moment right there. The next video that I will be doing most likely will be up here in this corner right there. Things that I do as a variety on the channel will be right here. I am Ty Smith, Mount Renaissance Man, hoping and praying that every last one of you have food, shelter, and clothing. And most of all, I pray every last one of you guys in great health, mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually. God bless you all through Jesus.